to complication of enteric fever cns complication like delirium depression meningitis psychosis encephalopathy etc serious complications like myocarditis endocarditis pericarditis failure and shock respiratory system complications like bronchitis pneumonia pulmonary effusion pneumothorax gastrointestinal system complications like intestinal hemorrhages terminal ileal perforations pancreatitis hepatitis splenic rupture splenic abscess etc genito urinary complications like glomerulonephritis pyelonephritis cystitis and orchitis hematological complications like leukopenia and neutropenia hemolytic uremic syndrome disseminated intravascular coagulation musculoskeletal complication like arthritis osteomyelitis typhoid spine muscle rupture etc there are few more other complications like hyperpyrexia thrombophlebitis deep vein thrombosis nerve deafness etc coming to diagnosis first one is culture for isolation of the bacilli we can do blood culture urine culture stool culture by the first week of uh, fever we can identify the bacilli from the blood from the second week we can see it from the urine and by third week we can culture it from the stool also we can do intestinal secretions culture using a non invasive duodenal string second one is viral test viral test is for measuring h and o agglutinins of typhoid and para typhoid bacilli in patients here h antigen is usually we take it in rare subglutination tube which is a uh, narrow conical based tube and o antigen is taken in felix tube which is a short round bottom tube on agglutination in rare agglutination tube that is uh, with h agglutinin we get loose cotton woolly clumps and in o uh, that is felix tube we get this like pattern at the bottom other diagnosis test are dna probe pcr antibody detection using slide viral test counter immune electrophoresis elisa etc and diasor test of you it consists of we take urine of the patient in a test tube and we add diasor agent you will get red coloration of the froth this test is sensitive between 5th and the 14th day prevention can be done by vaccination there are two options multiple dose of oral vaccination and single dose of parenteral vaccination multiple dose of vaccination usually taken uh, in a people more than 6 years before meals with dosing of day 1 3 and 5 and booster take booster dose is taken every 3 years single dose of parenteral vaccination can be given as 0.5 ml or 25 microgram subcutaneously or intramuscularly taking booster dose every 2 years coming to treatment it is divided into general measures and antibiotic treatment general me- measures the patient is advised to take bed rest isolation of patient should be done maintenance of nutrition and fluid intake coming to antibiotic treatment we can follow any one of the re- regimen ciprofloxacin 750 mg bid ceftriaxone 1 g iv bid azithromycin 1 g per day ampicillin 6 g per day for children we prefer 100 mg per kg per day amoxicillin 1 g tid per orally chloramphenicol 24 mg per kg tid per orally or iv trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole 160 bar 800 mg bid and treatment should be taken for about 10 to 14 days for carriers we, pre- uh, we give ciprofloxacin 750 mg bid or ampicillin or clo- cotrimoxazole for 4 weeks Thank you. Learn and share, Dr. Sia.